In this video I want to demonstrate how I can uh, reuse the imported uh, GBX data. I have added an option generate data nodes and I run the same uh, example file uh, like in the last video. Now I have the two uh, tracks, the real track in red and the blue one 20 meters higher than the real track and there are some extra nodes First I have a node uh, from the matplotlib which I use to plot the raw data. Then there are two numpy processing nodes to calculate some other data sets and then we have two matplotlib nodes to visualize these data sets. Let's start. The first is the track row data. Here I have four data sets. First the uh, x coordinate. These are all the values. Then next are the y coordinates the same. Then the height. And the last one is uh, is the time. The time is the number of seconds of the day of recording. We have uh, about 40,000, this is about 11 o'clock in the morning. So, then we have here three flags. Use output 1, 2, 3 and 4 for outputs and when I click on the object I get a diagram with the x coordinate, the y coordinate, the height and the timeline. The time is nearly uh, a line around zero because the values of x and y and z are much larger than the time. Then the next is a numpy node. The numpy node is used to post-process the data from my track raw data. I have uh, four channels. The first channel uh, uses the x coordinate and normalize it. That means it divides the x values by the maximum of the x values. So we have relative values between minus one and plus one. The same for the y coordinate and the z coordinate, the height. And for the time I use uh, a little other expression to get a, a good diagram. Uh, the NumPy node cannot visualize data, so I need as next uh, again a matplotlib node. And this matplotlib node uh, uses the source this is the source object here, this one. The flag use numpy is set of on two and we have one, two, three, four output channels. So, and now we have all the values relative. That means we have, can now see the timeline. 
you see here the time goes up to here here we had a break yesterday and then the time goes further and you see here the height line and all is relative values between 0 and 1 or minus 1 and 0 so then once again I have as next uh, a numpy node and in this case I have mapped the channel 1 the x coordinate to the time and the channel y to expression 2 and when I combine the x and the y coordinate I get uh, now an image this is the x line this is the y coordinate and this is now the pictures of the path and when I go here to the top view I see it's the same so here I have also Tada uh, and here I have a three dimensional model and this is only the visualization of the data and in this node we have all the data and we can use it for further processing.